Okay, I'm here in front of the ledge, and uh, your name is? Danny Legere. So we're here protesting again? Well, it's a, it's always a challenge, isn't it? And, you know, certainly trade unionists across the province are very concerned about a number of things. The path this Liberal government has taken us on, specifically the path of tax cuts and P3s. Uh, as we all know, our public wealth as New Brunswickers is in our public infrastructure, our hospitals, our schools, our bridges, our courthouses. And uh, as we go move to a P3 model rather than a traditional model of build and own, we erode that public wealth. Today, Charles, if New Brunswick were to fold up and uh, sell off assets, you're probably worth about $12,000. Uh, that comes from our public wealth, our, our infrastructure, what we own as, as citizens of the mm -hmm. province. As we move to P3 models, which the government uh, continues to go on, uh, we, we, we lose that public wealth. We no longer own the hospital. We no longer own the road or the, or the school. Uh, it, it's owned by international uh, uh, corporations in, in most cases, and uh, we simply pay rent. Yeah, but our both political parties the same. We had the same problem with Bernard Lord, and then we're here again. Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, what we really need in New Brunswick is someone who will think, put the citizens first, long term. One of the other things about P3s, they're, they're sexy for politicians in power. Because you can announce a P3 project, bang, this community's got a new school. But you don't have to pay for it. The bills won't start coming in until the next, next guy's in power. So you get all the glory, you get to cut the ribbons, and that's one of the scary parts about it. Okay, what's exactly a P3? It's just it's building a, private, a school? Private public partnership. Now, now up. No union, just. Uh, well, uh, you know, in, in the past, uh, there's been some P3 uh, projects, uh, infrastructure. We'll, you, we'll stick with schools and examples where they were P3 built and owned by uh, this multinational corporations. Uh, the province paid rent, although the, the, the province maintained uh, control over who was going to work in those schools. Now, that came out in Nova Scotia in the Auditor General's report, as, as you're aware, Charles, uh, that uh, you know, one of the concerns was their hiring practices in the P3 schools in Nova Scotia. They weren't putting their staff through the normal security checks that the uh, public sector would. Uh, they weren't checking the, uh, the ch child abuse registry, uh, you know, bumping their, 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 uh, their workers up against that, which the public uh, sector uh, would. Uh, you know, criminal record checks, they tend to bypass that. How many P3s is there? Uh, oh, the project. There's so a number of them. There's a, you know, there's two big schools right now, is the big ones that uh, we're getting a lot of attention, one in Rexton. Okay, so they built the school on what? Uh, uh, what's the union concern? Well, the union concern is too, and it's not a union concern, it's, it's, it should be a New Brunswick concern, is that we don't own that building anymore, so we don't have the, 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 the when I talked about our collective wealth, it's not there anymore because it's not ours. What we simply do, we, we build it, then we start making payments after it's built, so then we start paying rent for 25, 30 years. After 30 years, or whatever the contract is, we have an option of buying back at the value in 30 years' time. So it's, not, it's not even rent to own. It's just straight, straight rent. Is there a lot of New Brunswickers that knows what's? Uh, well, I tell, I tell you, I tell you, the NB Power, uh, the NB Power thing. If it did nothing else, it woke New Brunswickers up to what privatization and P3s did. A lot of New Brunswickers didn't get it, and quite frankly, a lot of my members didn't quite understand it because. The com proponents of P3s try to keep make it real complicated, and uh, this kind of brought it down to what the people can relate to and can understand. Selling off, not owning, they understand what that means. And MB Power kind of simplified the whole P3 and privatization agenda for them. So uh, when New Brunswickers came out in mass against the sale of MB Power, they were also coming out against this privatization of public assets and, and P3s. The NB Power thing, it did one, t one thing, it educated New Brunswickers about NB Power. No question, it educated New Brunswick about NB Power. I mean, you know, how that place is being run, it's been used as a political dumping ground for years and years. You just got to look who's on the corporate board and where they come from. Uh, you know, it's, uh, hopefully things will be done different in the future. Merci beaucoup, Daniel. Daniel.